Hello, this is Dr. Road, author of Master Books. First, I'd like to sincerely thank everyone who has purchased my books. This book covers maintenance and customization for electric bikes, e-scooters, and electric kickboards. It is available on Amazon in both ebook and paperback formats. It has been carefully designed for beginners in cycling and bike maintenance, offering detailed instructions. It includes fundamental maintenance concepts for almost every type of bicycle. The book also features QR codes and video links, allowing you to access video tutorials directly on your smartphone. One of the newly added topics in this edition is how to install a relay that enables your e-bike's lights and smartphone charger to function while the bike is running. For those who have already purchased the previous edition, don't worry, I have included a wiring diagram in this video for your reference. Wouldn't it be convenient to have a wireless charging smartphone mount on your e-bike? My top recommendation is this smartphone holder, which supports both wired and wireless charging and uses a ball mount system. In this video, I'll demonstrate how this newly purchased smartphone mount works. First, let's install it on the handlebars. This model operates on 12 volts. Its unique design caught my attention, so I decided to give it a try. Pressing this button allows you to adjust the volume, while the center button controls music and video playback and even lets you answer calls. It also pairs with Bluetooth earphones and features a USB-C power output for wired charging of other portable devices. Although I recommend using a fuse, I will omit it for now. To avoid confusion, I've marked the longer wire as the positive, red wire. Start by opening the controller box. I'll route the wires through the frame using a magnetic internal cable guide. Since the cables are long, leave some extra length on the positive wire before cutting. Now, the basic setup is complete. Here is the basic wiring diagram using an isolated MOSFET MOS field effect tube module. This circuit directly outputs battery voltage. However, for a 12 volt output, I will use this specific wiring diagram. This method uses the 5 volt output wire from either the pedal assist sensor or the throttle to activate the relay. Simply put, it functions like a switch that turns on lights or other accessories. You'll also need a DC to DC step down converter to reduce the high mobility voltage to 12 volts. You can pre solder the connections in advance for convenience. For signal wires, I recommend using 24 American wire gauge silicone wires, while for power cables, I suggest 20 American wire gauge silicone wires, which support a continuous current of about 13 amps. Now, let's connect the wires to the e-bike following the wiring diagram. Please note that modifying your e-bike could void the manufacturer's warranty, even if your product is still under the warranty period. First. Connect the black input wire of the DC step-down converter to the module's load terminal. For convenience, I've pre-soldered the wires onto the module. Next, slide a 25mm heat shrink tube over the module and apply heat to seal it. Then, use electrical tape to cover any exposed areas to ensure water resistance. I encountered a minor issue with the pedal assist sensor cable. This type of flat cable contains thin copper strands that are fragile and difficult to solder due to their coating. While you can remove the coating with a lighter, this hardens the wire and makes the process much harder. Therefore, I decided to use a different wire from the controller to obtain the 5 volt signal voltage. Now, I'll use a wire stripper to expose the internal wires carefully. Peel back the red wire slightly. You can even use your fingernails. This is the plus five volt positive wire, which I will connect to the module's PWM input. Twist the wires together and solder them. Then, wrap the soldered area with electrical tape for insulation and protection. Do the same for the red wire and the pedal assist sensor cable. For the GND connection, attach the black wire from the battery to the module's GND terminal. 
Connect the module's negative terminal to both the battery's negative electrode and the controller's negative wire. Insulate the soldered areas with electrical tape. Now, connect the module's positive plus terminal to the battery's positive wire and attach the red power input cable of the step-down converter. For an easier setup, I'll directly solder the wires to the connector. Thicker wires require more heat and may not solder well, so be sure to preheat them sufficiently or use flux. Next, connect the module's negative terminal to the battery's negative wire. Finally, connect the wireless smartphone charger to the output terminals of the step-down converter, ensuring the correct polarity. It helps to slide heat shrink tubing onto the wires beforehand to simplify the process. All the wires have been soldered and secured. Now, let's neatly place the electrical components inside and close the controller cover. Let's power on the e-bike. Everything works perfectly, but we're not done yet. Some professional mobility tuning shops require high power outputs for audio systems or brighter lights. In such cases, you can use an SSR, solid state relay, which while slightly larger, supports a wider voltage range and higher current. Additionally, a high power step down converter is necessary. The wiring method is straightforward. Looking at the basic circuit diagram, it works like a standard switch. Simply cut and connect the red plus positive cable in the middle. If you add a DC step-down converter, the circuit diagram looks like this. It's quite simple, right? That concludes this guide for enhancing convenience in e-bikes and useful tips for tuning shops. Now, you can ride without worrying about your smartphone battery, thanks to wireless charging. For those who have already purchased my book, I hope this serves as a helpful reference. Once again, I sincerely appreciate your support. This has been Inquan Huang, author of the e-bike masterbooks. Thank you for watching.